Hello everyone, welcome to Krishna's online lecture. Today I am going to discuss another topic of engineering mechanics that is resolution of forces. So let's start the lesson. So here before going to discuss about resolution of forces, we need to know about the quadrant system. So here you can see this diagram. So on the basis of this diagram, we can define number of quadrants. So here this quadrant should be first quadrant, this should be second, this should be third quadrant and this should be fourth quadrant. So here we have four quadrants. So, which is representing the quadrant system and on the basis of coordinates, the direction of force in different direction, in x direction and y direction and their sign convention, we can define these different types of quadrant. So, here if we define the first quadrant and if we are applying a force or if we are considering a force in this first quadrant, so, in this first quadrant, we generally consider the value in x direction, it should be positive and in y direction, it should be positive. So, here, if we are applying any force which is existing in first quadrant and if we want to resolve this force or let us consider this force F as the resultant and if we want to define the component of this resultant force F, so we have to define or we have to resolve this force into number of component. For example, here this force F is making angle theta with x direction. So here we have to define the force in x direction and the force in y direction. So here we have the same diagram. This F is the resultant force and it is making an angle theta with x direction. And in first quadrant, we consider x is positive and y is also positive. So if we want to define the component of this resultant force F in first quadrant, so we need to define fx and fy. fx is represent component of this force f in x direction and fy is representing component of force in y direction. So, here the direction of x is positive. Similarly, the direction of y is also positive. So, if we want to define fx, so it should be positive. Similarly, this y component is also positive. So, here we can define fx as f cos theta. Here, this f is making angle theta with x direction. So, the component fx will be f cos theta. And here, this complete angle is 90. So, this should be 90 minus theta. But here, we will define fx as f sin theta and if we want to define in terms of cos theta so it will be f cos 90 minus theta but here we are considering the inclination of this force with x direction so fx will be f cos theta and fy will be f sin theta so here this fx and fy are representing the component and this f is representing the resultant. So, here we can define resultant as the vectorial sum of number of component of the forces. So, we can define the resolution of forces. If we are resolving a force into number of components, so it is called resolution of forces. And here we are defining two components only, fx and fy. But in resolution of forces, we can define infinite number of components also. It is not necessary that the component should be 2 in x direction or in y direction. The component can be infinite. So, here we can define number of component in x direction or number of component in y direction also. So, this is the resolution of force F. Here we are resolving the component of the resultant. 
सो इट इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द कंप्लीट प्रोसेस ऑफ रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ फोर्सेस नाउ लेट्स सी अनदर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी आर कंसीडरिंग द फोर्स एफ इन सेकेंड क्वार एंड दिस फोर्स एफ इज मेकिंग एंगल थीटा विथ वाई डायरेक्शन सो इन सेकेंड क्वार वी कंसिडर द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज नेगेटिव एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई इज पॉजिटिव सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डिफाइन द कंपोनेंट इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एंड कंपोनेंट इन वाई डायरेक्शन सो Here, this F is making angle theta with y. So, F y it should be F cos theta, and this F x is in minus x direction. Or here we are considering direction of x is minus, so it should be minus F sine theta because. this particular force is existing in second quadrant so x value would be negative and y value and y value it should be positive now let us consider another case when we are considering this force f in third quadrant and this force f is making angle theta with x direction so here we can define the component of this force f so here if we want to define fx so you can see this force f is making angle theta with x direction or negative x direction so fx should be minus f cos theta and fy here we have minus y so it would be Minus f sine theta, and when this force is existing in third quadrant, so here we can define the component in x direction and y direction like this, as per the sine convention in x direction and y direction. Now let's consider another case when we are considering this force f is existing in fourth quadrant, and this fourth in this fourth quadrant, this f. is making angle theta with minus y direction so here y is in minus and x is in plus so so fy it will be minus f cos theta and fx it would be plus f sin theta so by, so by this way as per the quadrant first second third and fourth and as per the sign conventions we can define the component of a resultant force so to define the component or to resolve any resultant force into number of component is called the resolution of forces so, so this is all about resolution of forces so i hope you understand the concept of resolution of forces Thank you so much for watching this lesson. You can rate, review, and share this lesson with your friends and your known people. And if you want to watch more lessons related to mechanical engineering, please subscribe the channel.